we won't be putting the questions and answers on a website because that's to give everybody the opportunity uh, to get involved in the discussion on building and building control and building regulations and modern methods of construction in Ireland. And uh, for me, it's very fitting here that we have here today uh, the Chief Executive of Ross Common County Council, Shane Turnan. And Shane is also chairs the uh, National Building Control and Market Surveillance Office Steering Group. And the focus of that steering group, and we've been at this for quite a while, is to promote better building practice in Ireland, promotion of compliance with building control and the building regulations, all of us working together. Uh, Shane is a very committed public servant. He has a long career and history of working across all areas of the local authority, huge understanding of what is going on in local authorities and Ireland in general. He chairs that committee on behalf of the City and County Managers Association, all of the 31 local authorities. He's a background in finance management and engineering. And I have great pleasure here to introduce uh, you to Shane, uh, Chief Executive, Roscommon uh, County Council, to open the proceedings and welcome you. Thank you very much. Good morning, Good morning. Thank you very much, Maria. GE of a carja, August Tahas or Falcha Ara Riv, Go Hundi and Roscoan in you. Delegates, col colleagues, industry participants, and everybody online and those here today, I want to welcome you to the, this picturesque Hudson Bay in County Roscommon this morning, right in the centre of Ireland's hidden heartlands for this CPD training day, housing for all, building control, and modern methods of construction. As chair of the National Building Control and Market Surveillance Steering Group, I am delighted that this event is taking place in our beautiful county on the shores of Loch Ree. And as part of an ongoing series of training interventions for building control authorities, which today focuses on training and knowledge strengthening on relevant standards and certification processes to address modern methods of construction. Everyone in our country should have access to a home constructed to a safe, durable and sustainable standard offering a high quality of life. Buildings must be constructed in accordance with the building re regulations, ensuring they are safe, inclusive environments for people to live and work in. We know the personal, social and economic impacts of failures in this area following very publicized events such as the pyrite, mica, unsafe apartment blocks, to name but a few, running into billions of euros in remediation costs, ultimately costing the exchequer you the taxpayer and the unfortunate families and individuals who, whose lives have been thrown into chaos, distress and insecurity as a result. Thankfully, as a nation, we have responded and are continuously making significant progress in dealing with these challenges following a st statutory reforms that have already brought and will continue to bring a new order and discipline to bear on construction projects, creating an enhanced culture of compliance with the building regulations and ensure adequate enforcement of the construction products regulations and energy performance of buildings. These reforms pivotally include the establishment of the National Building Control Office within Dublin City Council to provide oversight, direction and support for the development, standardisation and implementation of building control as an effective shared service in the 31 building control authorities, who now have extensive powers of inspection and enforcement under the Acts and which are independent in the use of their statutory powers. In addition, in 2020, in order to strengthen the building materials market surveillance function, the National Building Control and Market Surveillance Office was appointed as a competent authority for the carrying out of market surveillance functions for all related construction products on a nationwide basis with each local authority as a market surveillance authority. While the primary responsibility for compliance with building regulations rests with the designers, builders and owners of buildings, Proper building control, led by highly trained, competent building control officers in each local authority, is essential to ensure awareness, inspection and enforcement so that safe, durable and compliant buildings are achieved. With the well-publicised challenges of, the, of housing delivery and significant national pressure to achieve housing delivery targets under the Government Housing for All policy, it is crucial that targets are not achieved at the expense of building control or non-compliant material supply where mistakes of the past were made. At the same time, the construction industry must be supported in devising new ways of speeding up delivery. 
whilst achieving the requirements of building control regulations with exacting materials that comply with the EU construction products regulations. Modern methods of construction will play an important part in building supply in the coming years. MMC, as you all know, is an umbrella term used to describe a range of manufacturing and innovative alternatives to, to traditional construction. This includes off-site construction techniques such as mass production and factory assembly. Modern methods of construction has been identified as the key measure to address the different housing needs in Ireland and, me and methods to support the development of MMC in Ireland are set out in Housing for All. MMC has the potential to help boost on-site product productivity, increase efficiency and environmental sustainability in housing delivery. It also offers a new, work, new work opportunities in a fixed place of work indoor in a factory environment, contributing to a new diverse workforce with, with new skill sets and increased use of digitization. There is evidence on social housing delivery that MMC can also speed up delivery of projects on site, reduce the number of changes during construction, and as such, keep, keep closer to the contract costs and, and the program overall. Maintaining high quality is a key aspect of MMC, and it is important that there is the correct certification of systems, good oversight of projects, and coordination of on the on-site and off-site activities and interfaces. A highly collaborative approach between government and industry is key to ensuring the successful introduction of this innovative initiative. By the end of today, I hope that delegates will have enhanced their learning knowledge and understanding of effective and compliant modern methods of construction to ensure continued evolution, compliance and support of the construction sector to deliver much needed quality, safe housing in our country. I'm sure like me, you're looking forward to enga an engaging and interactive uh, day and to all the speakers that are before us coming ahead of, ahead of me for this event. So Gora Thank you all very much indeed.